Hey guys, it's Daisuke again. Just wanted to shoot a really quick video in response to the video that I'm just posting right now. It's actually uploading as we speak. But uh, I just wanted to give you guys some suggestions on, I mean, if you guys are into Japanese, you know, culture and identity and, you know, thought processes or philosophies or whatever. There's two movies I would definitely recommend you watch. Um... No, not, one of them is not The Seven Samurai. Uh, that's more of a Western like uh, film. Like it's it replicates country or not country Western, but a spaghetti Western film basically. But um, but yeah, one of the movies is done by Akira Kurosawa. It's called uh, Akahige or Red Beard. Um, you should really watch that. Um, I think. You know, within that film, you really get into uh, the sort of um, sense of humanity, and and uh, I, it's kind of hard to explain, but like sort of the guilt that people feel um, or may are made to feel in Japan, I guess. Um, so that's one of the movies that I would definitely recommend, and another one that uh, kind of goes over family dynamics and the meaning of love and life and things like that. Of course, Akahige does that too, but it is a Ozu film. Um, it's called Tokyo Story. So watch those two movies. It's Akahige, or you'll find it as uh, Redbeard, and the other one's called Tokyo Monogatari, or Tokyo Story. Um, I believe both of them exist in the uh, Criterion uh, collection. Um, the DVDs are kind of expensive, but if you guys can Netflix it or something, that would be awesome. Uh, watch those two movies, and I think you'll have a much better understanding of what I mean by the Japanese ide identity or uh, the way Japanese people think. So, yeah, just wanted to make those recommendations. Hope you guys watch them. If you guys have seen them or do watch them, please leave them a comment and let me know what you guys thought. And, uh, oh, I should probably ask for subscriptions. Hopefully I'll be doing more videos real soon. Alright guys, see you guys soon.